Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 tallest buildings in the world. So before starting this video please like this video, and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Humanity has become obsessed with breaking its limits, creating new records only to break them again and again. In fact our city's skyline shave always been defined, by those in power during every period in history. At one point churches left their mark followed by public institutions and in the last few decades, it's commercial skyscrapers that continue to stretch taller and taller. For nearly half a century from 1931 through 1972, the 1,454-foot Empire State Building held the title of the tallest building in the world. The world has come a long way since then, in the rankings of today's tallest man-made structures, the Empire State Building doesn't even crack the top 40. Here are the 10 tallest buildings in the world right now ranked. Number 10. Taipei 101. Height. 1,667 feet Taipei 101's postmodernist architectural style evokes traditional, Asian aesthetics in a modern structure employing industrial materials. Its design incorporates a number of features that enable the structure to withstand the Pacific Ring of Fire's earthquakes and the region's tropical storms. The tower houses offices and restaurants as well as both indoor and outdoor observatories. The tower is adorned by a multi-level shopping mall that has the world's largest Ruyi symbol as an exterior feature. Taipei 101 is owned by Taipei Financial Center Corporation. The skyscraper opened on 31 December 2004 to celebrate New Year's Eve upon its completion, Taipei 101 was the world's tallest inhabited building at 509.2 meters, 1,671 feet, as measured to its height architectural top, spire, exceeding that of the Petronas Towers, which were previously the tallest inhabited skyscraper at 451.9 meters, 1,483 feet. Taipei 101 claimed the official records for the world's tallest sundial and the world's largest New Year's Eve countdown clock. Number 9. Citic Tower. Height. 1,731 feet Citic Tower's design draws inspiration from the Tsun, a ritual vessel originating in Bronze Age China explains the project description from, project description from the architects behind the structure's design Cone Pedersen Fox Associates. In profile the tower abstracts and refines the Zun's vase-like form, balancing composition and articulation with structural requirements and leasing depth needs. In plan, the building is square with rounded corners its width transforms vertically, from its 78-meter wide base to its 54-meter wide waist to its 69-meter wide top. Broader at its base than its crown, the tower combines its iconography with infrastructure that supports the building's integrity in China's greatest seismic zone. Number 8. Tianjin CTF Finance Center. Height. 1,739 feet This tower has an unorthodox plan layout and architectural appearance. Eight undulating curves flank each corner of the tower and meet at its summit to create a crown. As the building tapers in height, convex and concave curves glide up the elevations to create the wavy form. Moving upwards from the podium the tower's floor plate morphs from square to circle, the tower's unique profile will be accentuated by a facade composed of thousands of glass panels, creating a shimmering texture over the building's surface. The main structure has a hyperboloid glass surface, and the softly curving glass skin is integrated with the eight sloping mega columns. This specially designed shape was adopted to protect the building against intense winds. Arup has endeavored to strike a fine balance between realizing its function and design profile while still achieving quality and efficiency. Number 7. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center. Height, 1,739 feet The development has 66 office floors, 23 service department floors 11 hotel floors a ballroom and meeting rooms. A retail mall is located in the podium with top brand name shopping facilities, as well as high-quality restaurants and dining outlets. In addition there is a three-story car park providing approximately 1,700 parking spaces. The offices and retail podium were completed in 2016 and 2017 respectively, and service departments and hotel were completed in 2019. Number 6. One World Trade Center. Height. 1,776 feet The project was intended to help revitalize Lower Manhattan. The project was planned by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey which hired architect Minoru Yamasaki. He came up with the idea of building Twin Towers the 360-degree viewing platform and eatery located near the top of the newly rebuilt One World Trade Center, opens Friday to the general public. 
Tickets are $32 for adults though seniors pay $30 and children aged 6 to 15 pay $26. Kids 5 and under a free Skypod TM elevators climb 102 stories in 47 seconds. This astonishing ride reveals the transformation of New York City, from unsettled lands to today's remarkable forest of skyscrapers. Number 5. Lottie World Tower. Height, 1,819 feet Seoul Sky is located on the 117th 123rd floors. The 117th floor is the entrance floor, and the view floor the 118th floor has the sky-friendly cafe and sky terrace. The photo zone is located on the 119th floor Seoul Sky Cafe on the 122nd floor, and the 123 lounge, a premium lounge bar on the 123rd floor. There are four media stands on the 117th and 118th floors. The view floor has prominent views of the city as well as a glass floor and a telescope. The skylight of Seoul Sky was the highest glass floor observatory as of the tower's completion. Lottie Tower and One World Trade Center have concluded in operation, and technical service agreement Lottie World Tower is a landmark of Seoul, and the first 100-story building in Korea. When it was completed, it was the fourth highest tower in the world, and the highest in the OECD countries. The conceptual design calls for a slender cone with convex gently curved sides. An exterior of pale colored glass draws inspiration from Korean ceramics, and features accents of metal filigree. Number 4. Ping and Finance Center. Height, 1,965 feet The building contains office hotel, and retail spaces a conference center and a high-end shopping mall. Floor 116 feature an observation deck named Free Sky. As its name suggests it is also the headquarters of Ping and Insurance. The design of the building is meant to be unique and elegant, and to represent the history and achievements of the main tenant. A stainless steel facade that weighs approximately 1,700 metric tons provides a modern design to the building. The building has a total gross floor area of 378,600 square meters. The 115-story tower has a width-to-height aspect ratio of 110 and also has an 11-story podium. Including the podium the building has 495,520 square meters of floor space. A five-level basement adds another 90,000 square meters of area. The 620,000 metric ton tower has eight main columns which form the superstructure. The column dimensions range from approximately 6 by 3.2 meters, at the lowest level to 2.9 by 1.4 meters at the top of the tower. The Ping and International Finance Center is equipped with 33 double-deck elevators, with its destination control going at speeds of up to 10 meters per second. Number 3. Maca Royal Clock Tower. Height, 1,972 feet The building is topped by a four-faced clock, visible from 25 kilometers 16 miles, away. The clock is the highest in the world at over 400 meters, 1,300 feet, above the ground. The clock faces are the largest in the world, surpassing the Sivahir Mall clock in Istanbul. Each of the clock's four faces measures 43 meters, 141 feet, in diameter, and are illuminated by 2 million LED lights with four oriented edges, just above the clock alongside huge Arabic script reading, God is the greatest, on the north and south faces and on the west, and east there is no God but Allah Muhammad is the messenger of God. Four golden domes on pillars on all the corners are also present. Another 21,000 white and green colored lights the same, as the Saudi flag fitted at the top of the clock, flash to signal Islam's five-time daily prayers and are visible as far as 30 kilometers, 19 miles, away. On special occasions such as New Year, 16 bands of vertical lights shoot 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, up into the sky. The clock's four faces are covered with 98 million pieces of glass mosaics. The Saudi coat of arms is displayed at the center of each clock behind the dials. The minute hand is 23 meters, 75 feet, long while the hour hand is 17 meters, 56 feet, long. Number 2. Shanghai Tower. Height, 2,073 feet The Shanghai Tower was designed by the American architectural firm Gensler, with Shanghainese architect Jun Chia leading the design team. The tower takes the form of nine cylindrical buildings stacked atop each other, that total 128 floors all enclosed by the inner layer of the glass facade. Between that and the outer layer which twists as it rises, nine indoor zones provide public space for visitors. Each of these nine areas has its own atrium featuring gardens, cafes, restaurants and retail space and providing panoramic views of the city. 
both layers of the facade are transparent and retail, and event spaces are provided at the tower's base. The transparent facade is a unique design feature, because most buildings have only a single facade using highly reflective glass, to reduce heat absorption but the Shanghai Tower's double layer of glass, eliminates the need for either layer to be opaque. Tower can accommodate as many as 16,000 people daily. Number 1. Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the tallest building in the world. Height, 2,716 feet The design is derived from Islamic architecture. As the tower rises from the flat desert base there are 27 setbacks in a spiral pattern, decreasing the cross-section of the tower is going upward and creating convenient outdoor terraces. These setbacks are arranged and aligned in a way, that minimizes vibration wind loading from eddy currents and vortices. At the top the central core emerges and is sculpted to form a finishing spire. At its tallest point the tower sways a total of 1.5 meters, 4.9 feet. What do you think of our list? Which of the building you have visited? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.